Welcome to Center of Gravity Plus Tutorial. A major retail company in North America wants to restructure and optimize its distribution network to fulfill service requirements. To answer these questions lots of different data sources have to be combined and prepared. The goal is to compare different scenarios and find optimal number of centers without manual effort in data preparation. LogHub has developed network design apps for supply chain optimization. For this use case we'll use Center of Gravity plus an Excel Power Query. Go to LogHub tab to open supply chain apps. By pressing Home button app portfolio will appear on the right. Choose Center of Gravity plus app. You can use addresses or coordinates. Let's generate template to see needed data structure. Columns in red are mandatory and in green are optional. This means that we need to provide country, weight, volume, and revenue. We'll use Excel Power Query to import and prepare our data. Go to Data Tab, and choose Get Data from Text CSV. We have three external data sources, Sales Data, Customers Data and Products Data. Let's first import Customers Data. Query Editor is opening, and it shows us a preview. Because we want to make changes to data, we will click on Transform Data. On the left side of Query Editor, we can see our queries and on the right side all steps that you applied to the data. Here, we've already had three steps which Excel did automatically. We're going to delete final step, because it changed postal code to numbers which deletes first zero and we don't want that. If we compare this data set with needed data structure for Center of Gravity Plus, we see that some columns need to be renamed. Let's adjust this. We'll change region to layer, and customer ID to name. To structure your queries in a better way, you can create group. Let's make one group for raw data from where we could directly select data for next query and adjust if we need. Now, let's connect sales data. Go to new source and choose from text CSV. We can see that, order date and ship date columns, are not the right type of data. We can easily transform this by going to transform, data type and change to date. We are choosing to create a new step because Excel can only convert numbers and not text to date. In order to calculate revenue, we would need price and quantity, and here we only have quantity, so we will import a new data. Again, we'll go to New Source, from Text, CSV, and import our product data. When you have numbers, always check if they are in right format. If we go to Source, we can see that here is the European format used so Excel didn't convert numbers into a right format. To change this, First we'll remove that step. Then, we'll select all the columns we want to change and go to Transform. Replace values to replace comma with dot. Finally, we'll transform into right data type by going to Transform, Data Type, Decimal Number. As input for Center of Gravity Plus we need Weight, Volume and Revenue group by Customer. First, we will calculate Weight, Volume and Revenue, and then we'll group by Customer. Let's make a new group, Data Preparation. Here we'll combine sales data with customers and product data. To do this, we'll create a reference. A reference is like a copy, the difference is when something is updated in the sales data will be directly updated in a reference too. To join the data, go to Merge Queries. First, we will add customers. Here, you have sales data and you need to select with which data you want to combine it. Now, we have customer table inside. To see the data, we need to expand it and choose which columns we want to show. We'll do the same for product data. Next step is to calculate weight, volume and revenue per shipment. To do this, we're creating new column. Go to Add Column, Custom Column. Weight is equal to quantity multiplied by weight per product. Volume is equal to quantity multiplied by volume per product. Revenue is equal to quantity multiplied by price per product. One customer could have multiple orders, so for the last preparation step, we need to group these three columns by customers. For this, let's make another folder and make a reference out of our prepared sales data. Select all columns you want to group and go to Transform, Group By. Define the aggregation columns. Weight is equal to sum of weight. Volume is equal to sum of volume. Revenue is equal to sum of revenue. Let's change some columns names to follow the structure needed for Center of Gravity Plus app. We're changing postal code to zip, and customer ID to name. Since we've finished our data preparation, we're going to close and load this query and create only connection. We'll export our prepared input to the new sheet, and link the table to Center of Gravity Plus app. Always make sure to connect header as well. Let's start by calculating 10 centers. You can also set up additional parameters to determine the importance of weight, 
volume and revenue. Press Calculate. In a matter of seconds, we're having the results. You can choose to export each table separately or to export all to the new sheet. We're going to export only assigned addresses to make a database of results of different number of centers scenarios. For each customer we can see which center has been assigned, latitude and longitude of the center as well as distance between customer and the center. We're adding additional column, so we would know which data is for which number of centers. Let's do the same for 15 and 20 centers. Now, we have different data sets grouped by scenarios. We can transform output of Center of Gravity Plus app, using Power Query and Make Pivot Chart, for example, for better visibility over different scenarios. Select Scenarios Table and go to Data, from Table Range. Assume that we want to visualize difference in average distance, based on scenarios and layers. Here, we have distance and scenarios, just need to merge layers from customer's data. We'll do that the same way as earlier, just go to Merge Queries and select columns you want to merge and expand columns you want to add. Right-click on Prepared Data and select Load to Pivot Chart. On Pivot Chart, we can see average distance from centers to customers, based on scenarios and region. Let's see how chart can be easily updated with new scenarios. We'll calculate again with 25 centers and copy the results into Scenarios table. After that we just need to refresh pivot chart. The same will happen if you provide new sales data, for example. After that, just refresh the table and you can calculate again with already prepared data structure for a particular app. Center of Gravity Plus has two types of visualization provided. Let's visualize on a map first. Blue dots represent customers' locations, while pink ones are assigned centers. Map is fully customizable. You can switch from street to dark view, for example. You can change the color of your locations, change the size of the dots, transparency. You can switch off layer you don't want to see. Let's see what KPIs are presented on a dashboard. Here, for example, we can see total weight per center, total volume and revenue per center, number of customers per center on a pie chart. Average, median distance per center and average, median weight, volume and revenue per center are presented on a line chart. Results are also visualized on box plots. 3D clusters. Let's sum up what we have achieved today. We connect different data sources, combine, transform and prepare data. We calculate locations based on different scenarios. We assign each customer to specific location for each scenario. Now, retailer can choose most acceptable solution from these scenarios. All done by following four steps, and using Excel Power Query. Try it by yourself.